Alright, hello. Um, my name is Eugene Tang, and I'm going to show you how to use <coughs> Assembly AI to download uh, and YouTube Dio to download a YouTube video and extract out um, some sent the text into sentences and paragraphs. So I've already started out my um, IPython notebook with an API key that you're going to have to get from uh, Assembly AI. Um, actually, I'll put the link in here to get that. So if you go to assemblyai.com and you can get the API key from there. It's a markdown tab. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import these imports to download uh, YouTube and send requests to um, HTTP endpoints. Um, I'm also going to get JSON and use that in a second. Um, okay, so then from here, I'm going to get the transcription endpoint, um, which is uh, the API endpoint for instance that we're going to hit to get the transcript. And then I'm going to get the upload endpoint, which is the endpoint uh, for assembly that we're going to hit to upload our MP3. And then um, we have two sets of headers. So one with just auth key and one with auth key, uh, and the application type is JSON. And so first thing for the YouTube download I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with the uh, options. So we'll have the, the best audio format. Um, I'm going to use FFmpeg to extract uh, um, our YouTube in, uh, audio into an MP3. So I specified the FFmpeg location here specifically because uh, if you don't um, specify the bin and it's not in your path, it will throw an error. Um, and I also have the output uh, saved. I also gave an uh, output template to be saved as the ID of the YouTube video. So here we have a um, of these two options. So now we need to create something to get the video with. So I created a function uh, just to get the uh, YouTube video given the ID. And then we just get the ID of the video and um, get the meta info, which is why I use extract info instead of just download. So give the YouTube video. So I'm going to give the URL for um, a natural language processing introduction video. And it's going to see, it's going to tell us the ID here and where it was downloaded and what the MP3 is. So uh, here it's downloaded, and basically what we can do is we can get the file name and upload it into uh, Assembly AI, and that's with, with this code right here. So okay, so now this tells us to upload the URL. And now we're going to have to create a request that we're going to send um, for getting the transcription. So we're basically just going to send transcript request that tells, here's the audio URL, it's where the upload URL was, was uh, sent to. Um, and then we call the transcript, we call a request, we send a post request to this endpoint, to this transcript endpoint up here. And uh, we send this request with these headers, where are the headers? These headers. And we should get a response. And we can see what the response is. And we can see that it's queued. So I'm going to pause right here while we wait for uh, while we wait for this to, to, to run. OK. So um, I created a polling endpoint just to be able to check where, you know, um, with the ID. Uh, we'll be able to check the status of our response, and then I hit it, and I hit the status. And once status, once you hit this, and the status is completed, you can move on to the next step. Um, so here, basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to create two more endpoints to get the paragraphs and the sentences using the Assembly AI API. So um, we'll just create these two endpoints. So the same endpoints, you know, the transcript slash ID, and you just add paragraphs or sentences at the end. Um, and then I'm going to get two responses. I'm just going to send the same uh, I'm going to send get requests to these endpoints. 
um, with uh, the same headers. And once we get the responses, we can print them to see what they look like. So let's take a look at what our paragraphs look like. Um, so you know, it tells you your paragraphs. It tells you the text of your first paragraph. Uh, human being is the most advanced species on Earth. There's no doubt, etc. And our success as a human being is because of our ability to communicate and share information. Now that's where the concept of developing a language comes in. And when we talk about the human language, it is one of the most diverse and complex paths offers considering a total of 6,500 languages exist. Okay, um, so you know it gives you the first paragraph. Scroll down and tells you, you know, what is the what is the confidence they have the word. Um, and scroll down up here, and here's the second paragraph. And more again, the text confidence, the end, the start, third, and so on. And then the sentences look like this. Tells you, okay, here's a sentence. Here's a sentence, and here's another sentence. So once we have the paragraphs and sentences, we can start uh, to think about you know what else we want to do, sentiment analysis, uh, topic analysis, things like that. So yeah, um, that's it. That's the tutorial on how to use Assembly AI to extract out the um, text for um, speech to text uh, for paragraphs and sentences. Thanks for watching.